Now, when it comes to assigning images to objects, we'll work with the shader that we have assigned, but we will, in the base color slot, give some image data to the shader. So we'll essentially feed the shader. I want this object to be cement, so it is a good idea for me to just call it cement. So I'm going to ignore the base color and create a slot for an image. So if I hit Shift A, then I can either navigate to texture and select image texture, or I can hit Shift A and just search for image texture. Um, and once I have that, I can plug that into the base color. So now I can open an image texture and go and look at texture that I have downloaded from textures.com. There are other nice texture sites out, there, out there. Texture Haven or Polyhaven is one that you could explore for now. Um, I'm going to hit the thumbnail button up here so I can see what I'm working with. I'm going to hit the cement albedo. Now albedo and diffuse um, can work, both work in the color um, base color slot. Uh, an albedo texture would have zero shadows or zero highlights in it, whereas a diffuse texture might have a little bit of highlight and shadow in. But both of them will work in the base color slot. So I open um, my cement base color image and you'll see that I have this whereas it's looking okay but it doesn't have any height information. So I want to give it height information that I do by plugging in a bump map to bump up the height of the material into the normal slot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type bump and then hit affirm enter. I'll assign that over here and then I want an image into the bump um, and I will type texture image and then I will plug that into the height because it is the height that I do want to display. So now if I hit open I can hit the corresponding height map um, from textures.com and if I open that now you'll see it's starting to give me a fake illusion of height that is based off black and white values of an image. So that is what bump does. Um, now I want to create a little bit of roughness and specular information so I will plug that into the roughness Again, I'll search image, hit the firm enter, um, I'll plug that into the roughness and then go and open to the images that I've downloaded from textures.com, hit roughness and hit OK. Um, and that has given me a roughness, a little bit of roughness information. I'm not seeing a lot of the effect on screen. Um, let's maybe disable it and see. So now you can see, now you can see it changing a little bit to accommodate more what cement looks like in real life. I can also alter some of the specularity, um, tighten the specular levels. And so there you have cement. I'm just going to switch to material preview for now and that'll give me a nice in view idea of what is going on. So the next material that I want to make is a brick material. So I'm going to hit this um, cone and I want to hit the minus to just take the current material off. Then I want to hit the new material and I want to call it brick. And again, um, if you're fully comfortable with this process, you can click off now or otherwise you can just follow me again just to hammer things down and get a good grip. Again, we'll use for this one the diffuse, the height, um, and maybe roughness. So let's hit Shift A, search for image texture, select that, plug that into the base color, 
then go to whatever I've downloaded from textures.com it's a diffuse map so I can use that in the base color um, I'm not going to worry about how it sits on the image we'll get to that in another video now again into the normal channel I'm going to want to create a little bit of height information so I'll type bump I'll plug that into the normal and then I'll type image texture and I'll plug that into the height and then open the bump image and that will give me some idea of illusion of height now you can see that it is way too much so I'm going to bring this down to 0.2 maybe 0.3 and then I'm going to bring this down to 0.5 um, so you can see now I've got some form of height information on there and if I switch off wireframe we will probably see this a little bit better um, and there you have that I can also probably create a little bit of roughness information or specular information so I have a roughness map here from textures.com I can open that and I can plug that into the roughness and that's going to give me a little bit more of a realistic roughness with regards to how brick reacts um, so that is assigning a basic texture to a shader and assigning a basic shader to an object